Hello and welcome to SimCity Build It. This is a little bit of an orientation. Big shout out to Simantha, Samantha, who has really entertaining videos on this subject. So when you play SimCity Build It, it's a game where you're the mayor of a city. You're in charge of laying out the city building residence for your for your sims uh, planning for expansion producing materials manufacturing goods so we're going to take a little bit of an overlook today and we're going to start in the upper right hand corner of the screen where you see this uh gear with a number in it that's your level and then the circle going around it shows how much progress you've made toward the next level if we click on that we'll see this screen and gives you the name of your city mine is called Cordoba you can add a description of the city and then the experience which will tell you how many points you need to level up and in this box, it also shows you what items will be unlocked in the next level. And this is important because it adds to your planning so you can be prepared. Because sometimes you'll need infrastructure or you'll need buildings and you'll want to know how much they cost so you can budget for them. Continuing on the upper right hand corner, we have our population, their happiness, and your city storage. The city storage is a major pain for most players. You never seem to have enough. So the city storage shows you your raw materials at the top the items you've manufactured in your shops and then specialty items this first group is for my Parisian expansion and you need these to upgrade your residences this next bar the lower bar it shows you how much you need to increase your capacity and I'm at a level where I need 10 of each, so you see I'm quite a ways away from that. And then we have expansion items, and this is for increasing your playing field. These items, these two sets of items here, can be gotten a few ways, but one of the main ways is by talking to your sims. When your sims have comments they show up in bubbles and you click on you pop the bubbles and if you pop enough bubbles to show that you're a good listener they will reward you with some of these gifts you can also get these in other ways by buying them in the global market or going on mayoral junkets which I'll talk about in another video Moving over to the top right hand side of my screen, this is your city treasury. We have platinum and gold keys. I have not reached the level to achieve platinum keys. The golden keys are hard to get at first, but they start to get a little bit easier. And these are used for building specialty items and some parks and recs, and they're very handy to have. Simoleons are the lifeblood of the city, or so my sims tell me. And this is the main part of your budget, because this is the everyday buying and selling of goods and taxes that you collect. And you'll need these to purchase items or to build some uh, buildings, specialty buildings, 
uh, shops, factories, all the buildings, categories of buildings. Here's one of those bubbles. Look at that. Then we have SimCash. SimCash is also used to purchase buildings. And this is hard to come by, but the way you come by these, mostly, is by completing assignments the city achievements. We're going to look at the roads here. And in the roads menu, you can build roads simply by dragging your finger. And I don't want that one, so I'll hit the X. You can also see the density of your traffic. And this is a major pain because when traffic gets congested, you have to upgrade your roads and it comes up at unexpected times and it costs money. You can also bulldoze the roads if you want to change the layout or a road's not in use. The residential areas in there is where your sims live. And in this menu, you can add residential zones if you have them. I have regular residential and I have Parisian. You can also see the land value of your town and the wealth forecast. Keeping the properties in this orange region will help increase the happiness of your sims. Let's take a look at our shops. We have a bunch of shops already built. I have them all in the line there. The nice thing about this is you can see what's upcoming and you can see how much it's going to cost. So when I get to level 18, I'll need $17,000 to build a donut shop. That's part of your budget. Your factories produce your raw materials. They also produce pollution. You see the brown area is the amount of pollution. You want to keep this away from the Sims. The Sims do not like living near polluted areas. So you build the factories in remote areas. The government is a large part of the game. You have to provide infrastructure. There's a bubble. To keep your city up and running. It also has specialization, such as parks and landscaping. And at the next level, I'll have a beachfront area. So we look at these, power, and it'll give you your capacity and the demand currently placed on it. And as you're, if the demand increases, you can add more. Here are your options at the bottom. You also have to provide water for all of your sims so they can make coffee. They also produced waste, so you have to have sewage and waste management. Then we come to police and fire. So I'm well covered and I have areas to build residences that are covered by the fire and the police. Now because these are not in the same place, the coverage may be slightly different. So you'll have areas that are not covered. And when you click it, when you are looking at these, you'll see the, I have a police station there, a police station there, and a police station there. I have not achieved a need to provide health clinics, hospitals yet, but that will be coming up shortly. That's at level 16. I'm at 14. And our government buildings. So we have a town hall, a mayoral manor, and right now I have 
the mayor's mansion. At the next level, I'll be getting the Epic Products, which is free. Oh, I'm going to get level 16. Right? Back in our government, oops, sorry. We have our specializations. We have parks, which increase the happiness and boost your population. And you'll see that my parks have boosted my population 20,000. And these blue lines indicate how much it, the parks have boosted your population and happiness. Landscaping is also a way. It doesn't provide as much, but it adds to the aesthetics of your town or your city. You'll see I have a large area here of water that doesn't do much for my population, but it really looks nice. Education is one of the specialties, and I focused on this, and you'll see those blue lines are going through the room. And also transportation. We want to provide ways for your citizens to get around the town and to go visit their relatives or neighbors. And this is where that happens. Well, that's all I have. So, the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, we have three buttons. One is your city journal. And it shows you what you are trying to accomplish, what you have accomplished. And you'll see there are three checks in each of these. And as you achieve these, you will get special gifts. The one on the left with the people are your friends or your social networking. Let's pop these bubbles. Up! Oh, Oops, they just gave me something. I didn't see what it was. Daniel is the universal male mayor of SimCity. Everybody can connect to Daniel, but we all see different Daniels. So we can travel to his city. It'll take us to his depot, where he usually has items for sale at fair market value. But I've already purchased all of his items today because you can resell them for more money at the trade depot. Every city has its own trade depot. When you're visiting another city, you should scroll through it to see if there are any hidden presents for yourself. Let's go back home. So taking a quick look around my city, some of the cool things I've added is this area of water and a, and a cobblestone bridge so people can get across the water. The bridge is really cool looking. There are a multiple of different bridges, so you'll be able to choose, pick and choose, what kind of look your town gets. Also, from time to time, you'll get special offers, special limited time offers, like when the Lunar New Year came around this year. I made this Chinese theater show. Look! And there's dumpling And these are not available at all times of year, so if you want any when you can. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to come back with more. And I hope that you'll visit Samantha and watch her videos because she has a different way of playing than I do. I plan things and I go very slowly. She's a lot of fun. She's a real hoot. And I would subscribe to her channel if I were you. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.